Hello, Nomads Cult, and this is a workflow video. So for deep creases or such, yeah, overlapping creases. Okay, so and maybe here's something here like this here. And so when you use the default crease tool, so it's very hard to to do such things um, so there's um, a faster way I think so you use the mask here and choose um, a smaller radius so like this here and then here's a little bit more so this becomes the crease and now do your shapes here, the scales or the blobs or what you want. So I do only half one, so let's see what happens at this position. Um, Okay, so the next thing is here add a layer for this, uh, always use layers. So then we need to invert the mask, so like this here. And this is um, the blur slider, you can play a little bit with it. So you can blur the mask a little bit and or not. You have to test it yourself. And then you need here the um, operations menu. So you see here there's an inflate slider and the inflate slider works in positive direction and in negative direction. So you can use it here like this. And yeah, and then you have to invert the mask again. So, okay, and now we want to protect the rest of the mesh. So I cell mask the head, the, oops. So, and maybe here this part and also this part. So I only want um, the creases or here in this area. And then again, use the operations menu and use inflate in the other direction. So like this here. And then use the relax slider to relax the mesh and the smoothing, relaxing, and again inflate a little bit. And now you see these blobby things here. And yeah. And you see here on the neck and on the shoulder, there is also inflate. And therefore, here is the layer. So via the layer, you can control this whole thing. And it's also possible to use here the delete layer brush. So this tool here. And so this is the intensity. And then brush here over the, the edge or the borders. So and smooth this out like you want so I, I hope you get the idea how it works so so now you can clear the mask and yeah this is what you get when you use it like this. And let's do a other test here. So I'm using the mask. So small brush. delete 
deleted it. Yeah, come on. Okay, so let's invert this thing. Or, yeah, we can use it like this here also. So I add a layer and I protect more of the mesh. So the layer is active and now I'm using the inflate. Smoothing, relaxing, inflating. So, and now the delete layer brush. So, and I'm deleting the parts. I don't want to inflate. So now I can clear the mask. Oh. So with delete layer you can smooth this out here. So again with a cell mask we can protect again parts of the mesh. So now smooth it and inflate a little bit more. So this is what the delete layer brush is for. So maybe you can use it or not. So yeah, it's up to you. So have fun with sculpting and ciao.